The Civil War almost destroyed our nation, and it was held together really on a field in Pennsylvania in a battle that took place in a, outside of a town called Gettysburg. It was Joshua Lawrence Chamberlain who led the 20th of Maine, who was on a part of the line called Little Round Top. Little Round Top was on the far leftern flank of the northern line, and they were charged with keeping this little plateau. If the South could get that plateau, they could put their cannons up there and fire down on the northern line and win the battle and possibly win the war. On the first two days, they were able to hold back the, the rebels as they charged. Particularly, it was the 15th of Maine that was charging them. On the third day, they came to Joshua Lawrence Chamberlain and they told him, we are out of ammunition, what do we do? He knew he could not surrender that little piece of land because the battle would be lost and possibly the war. So he came up with an idea. He told his soldiers to fix their bayonets and put the bayonets on the end of their rifles. And he had them run down the hill when the South attacked. They run down the hill almost like a swinging gate. The men on the top barely moved. The men on the end would just come running, sweeping all the way across. And they would surprise the Southern soldiers on their right flank. And what happened that morning? Well, the 15th Alabama charged up at them with that eerie rebel yell screaming in the distance. His men waited and waited and they got close enough, charged at them bayonets fixed and they surprised the Alabama soldiers so much that they dropped their guns and surrendered. The irony was very obvious that soldiers with loaded rifles surrendered to soldiers who had no ammunition at all. But see, there's a lesson there. And the lesson is never to give up. Keep fighting. If you're out of bullets, well then fix bayonets and charge. Don't give up, keep fighting. And let me be clear, we are in a, a spiritual war. The Apostle Paul says that we are not wrestling with flesh and blood. There is no human that is our enemy. It is a spiritual fight. And we do not fight with guns and bullets and bayonets or social justice. We fight with Jesus. We fight with the testimony of his blood. We fight by telling people what he did for us, what I was before I came to know Christ, and how he radically, ultimately changed me because of the blood of Jesus Christ. We fight by the testimony that Jesus died for us. And while we were yet sinners, God so loved us so much, he sent his only begotten son to die for us. And that we have accepted him as our personal savior and he has changed us. We fight and we charge with his love. We fight with his forgiveness. We fight with his grace. We take these things to places that have never heard the name of Jesus. We take it to places that are so dark and, and engulfed by sin that they think no one could love them. We do not judge people. We give them Jesus. We keep fighting. And yes, it is, it is a dark period in our nation. And it looks like evil is going to win. And things are getting more perverse and disgusting. And they are going after children. But we do not fight with guns and bullets and slogans and elections. We fight with faith. We fight with forgiveness. And we fight with our life because Jesus died for us and conquered the grave. And yes, the world is getting darker and darker and darker, but Jesus shines brighter in a dark world. Remember, we will lose many battles, but Jesus is gonna win this war. Keep fighting, don't give up. Fix bayonets and charge with Jesus.